So today I will talk about an experimental evidence in which says that that parity is not invariant for big interaction. So for this the book which I followed let me talk about that book. It is the book the title of the book is Introduction to Elementary Particle Physics. Particle Physics and it was written by D. Griffith. So around 1957 1957 CS2 performed an experiment And that experiment suggests that that period is not in meaning for the weak interaction. So what he did, he has taken taken C6 cobalt 60 nuclei. And why he has taken C60 cobalt nuclei? Because it undergoes beta decay. Undergoes beta decay. And what he did during his experiment? He aligned cobalt 60 nuclei. In a particular direction in a particular direction so that their spin pointed their spin pointed say along that direction direction and it's like this so they have taken a it is the direction of the spin and here it's a north and it's a south and it is spinning in this way right <coughs> this was taken by him and this nuclei undergo beta decay and in this experiment what he found the electron which are emitted they pointed in this direction electrons are emitted in this way in this direction means according to this diagram they pointed along the up in the up, upper direction or in the direction of north right so in this experiment so in this experiment direction of emitted electron was found <coughs> to be along upper direction to be along upper direction that is in the direction of nuclear spin that is in the direction of nuclear spin But when the same experiment
but when the experiment performed with mirror image but when the experiment was performed with the mirror image that is one nucleus one nucleus rotates in the opposite direction direction that is its spin points downwards so let us understand it diagrammatically so that means it is spinning downward means it is spinning this way right then theoretically it was assumed that that emitted electrons must be along this direction means in the downward direction because spin is flipped downward but actually when experiment was performed with the spin down electrons again starts emitted in the upper direction means opposite to that of the spin right so means again electron still came off came off upward so as shown here so hence we can say that hence we can say that parity is not parity is not n not an invariance of not an invariant for peak interaction right so this is a one experiment which suggested that it is not invariant for the peak interaction where it is not invariant uh it is not invariant for weak interaction right let us have a a brief note relating to it the parity invariance the parity invariance is not is not limited to beta decay of cobalt 60 but parity violation is practically parity violation is practically the signature of weak force weak interactions or weak forces so that's all for this lecture and in the next lecture i will talk about the intrinsic parity